Boy, has it been a while. I look back on my YouTube channel, it's been four months since I put out my last YouTube channel. In my defense, a lot's been going on. It's June 5th now, 2020. Uh, I don't know when you're joining me and watching this video, but we're in the middle of a pandemic, COVID-19, unprecedented times. As you can tell, the barber shops still aren't open, long hair, a little bit unshaven. I've been learning how to do online teaching. We're trying to get our students engaged. We're finishing up the school year and just trying to uh, navigate our way through this, these unprecedented times. But it's time to get back at it because health and wellness is always important, but maybe even more now. But for that, thanks for being here. Greg Whitmore from Tiny Mountain Wellness. And it is unprecedented times. Uh, it's like times we've never seen, unless you're over 100 years old when you may have witnessed the Spanish flu. We haven't seen anything like this. And, but we do know with COVID-19 and coronavirus, the people that struggle the most with that are those with weakened immunity and uh, pre-existing health conditions. So now more than ever, it's important that we take care of our health. And so it's important to me that I get back and start sharing some of that health and wellness information uh, that maybe can boost your immunity. And when I talk about what causes disease and how we prevent disease, I'm going to always go back to the basics and what I call Whitmore's Big Five. I put a bit video out about that earlier and I'll link that in the description below. But of course you remember that at the top of Whitmore's Big Five is nutrition. And most of you know I'm big into intermittent fasting. I've been doing it for the last year and a half or so, a little longer maybe. And it's done wonders for me in fighting an autoimmune disease. Uh, in the meantime, I haven't had one little sniffle. Uh, so not that, that I can't get sick, but I feel strongly about intermittent fasting and how nutrition can really boost our immunity. Uh, so I'll be talking a lot more about immunity and how nutrition affects that, including diet, what, what's the best diet to, to use and be on, and, and I'll explore keto and vegan and plant-based and Mediterranean and all of those. But nutrition is certainly number one. Uh, stress. Stress is number two on uh, Whitmore's Big Five, although all these are almost as important as the next. We know it's stressful times. We know our kids are stressed out being at home, not being around their kids. We know parents are stressed having their kids at home and being responsible for all that online teaching. And of course, many people have lost their jobs. We've got some racial diversity, some political diversity going on. So just a ton of stress out there and that affects our health and our immunity. Lack of sleep is number three. And of course, um, <laughs> Our kids aren't sleeping well. Maybe adults we aren't either because of that stress. Maybe poor nutrition. Maybe we've lost our job. But our kids aren't sleeping. I know they're staying up late, playing video games, sleeping through the day. Their biorhythms are off, so that's important. Exercise number four. Can't stress it enough. Uh, luckily, that's one thing that uh, I've been able to maintain through this, even though I haven't been maintaining my grooming, I have been working out three days a week as I do my weight training class online. And then fifth are the decisions that we make. All the decisions that go into all the health decisions, what we eat, when we eat, uh, you know, whether we, what exercises do we choose, do we exercise, when do we go to bed, all those decisions are so important. So. So I'm going to put out some more quality content, hopefully through YouTube and through my blogs. So I appreciate you for being here. I make this commitment to, uh, to share and put more regular videos out. I appreciate it if you'd subscribe and hit the bell notification and uh, we'll learn together and hopefully we'll all survive this, this pandemic and COVID-19 without any health issues. And when we're back to that, whatever normal is, We'll continue to, to uh, develop these habits that will increase our quality of life moving forward. So thanks. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining us in this video today. 
If you haven't done so already, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. And if you got some value, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone you know that could benefit from this information. And hit that bell notification if you want to know when I put out another video. For more information, go over to my blog at tinymountainwellness.com. We'll see you next time.